why did he do it and how did he do it? Tonight we're getting a closer look at the small bombs that went off inside an Ontario Sam's Club. And we're learning more about the man accused of planting them. KCAL 9's Tina Patel is live in Ontario with the new information. Tina. Well, the store was cleaned up and back open today, but there are still a lot of questions about the suspect who came here yesterday and what other crimes he might have been involved with. Security cameras capture the moment one of the explosive devices was set off inside the Sam's Club in Ontario. There's a flash of light, then customers start running away. Moments later, employees rush to the aisle where the explosions had caught some products on the shelves on fire. There are clouds of smoke as employees use fire extinguishers to put out the flames. Ontario police have been interviewing 49-year-old Hugo Gonzalez, but he has not explained why he went to the store and allegedly set off the two explosions. Investigators don't believe he's linked to any criminal organizations or terror groups, but he may be responsible for a violent home invasion in Rancho Cucamonga earlier this week. 89-year-old Esther was home alone at the time. Some guy came dressed up as a Domino's pizza driver. Um, knocked on the door and my mom opened it and he forced himself in there. Esther has a badly bruised arm, but her family says she's lucky no bones were broken. He dragged her around and, and tied her up while he ransacked the house. Although neighbors didn't see the man who beat up Esther, they did see his car driving around the neighborhood and noticed that after he passed by these cameras, he put a Domino's pizza sign on the top of his car. A domino sign could be seen in the trunk of Gonzalez's car when Ontario police arrested him after the Sam's Club explosions. We have great neighbors. Yeah, they all had um, video footage they shared, and that's how we put two and two together. Esther's family doesn't know why Gonzalez did what he did. They're just grateful he's been caught and can't hurt them again. She's glad. She's, she's really glad. We're all glad. We all can go to sleep now. Now, Gonzalez has not been formally charged with a home invasion yet, but he is being held on $1 million bail for what happened here in Ontario. He is expected in court on Monday.